No, it's this one. A white aigret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Oh, how appropriate. <laughs> it's funny because, you know, half the game, I assume half the game is all about that. Um, I mean, this one's shining, so. Our dearest Marie. The sun shined brighter when she was here. Marie. She was like so long ago already. I still think about her all the time. I'm sure you do too, considering she's your sister and all. <laughs> you know, when Marie passed away, Hero, Hero really stopped caring about everything. He didn't want to go get out of bed for school or even eat. He stopped taking care of himself, stopped baking and cooking. It was like that for almost a year. Mom and Dad didn't know what to do either. We all tried to help him and be supportive, but nothing was really working. One night, I went over to him while he was all huddled in his blankets and started, staying, uh, started saying stuff. Stuff like how we all miss him and how we want him to get better. How oh, everyone is really worried. How Marie wouldn't want to see him like this. I thought I was helping him, but... But Hiro... Hiro got angry. He suddenly got up and started screaming and yelling at me about a bunch of stuff. Some of it was pretty hurtful, too. But I think I blocked out a lot of it. His eyes was already... His eyes were already super red. But the more he yelled at me, the harder he cried. I tried my best to calm him down. But whatever I said just made him worse. I'd never seen Hiro do anything close to that before. It really took me by surprise. And I was so scared that... Well, I started crying too. Eventually, Mom and Dad ran to our room and rushed over to him to hug him and calm him down. But they... Well, completely ignored me. <laughs> I think that's where Hiro got his senses back because he ran to me and hugged me right away. Just kept apologizing over and over. But at least Hiro got a lot better after that. He started taking care of himself again and focusing on school a lot more and joining a bunch of extracurricular stuff. He's naturally good at everything, but he still works really hard, so I'm proud of him. I guess he's a little more closed off now than he used to be, but I'm really just glad to have my brother back. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I, didn't, I, I really like how everything just kind of unfolds, but I did not know Kel and Hiro were siblings. Uh, it wasn't obvious to me anyway. Interesting. Uh. I mean, I, I, it would have clued you in, I guess, when they say, when he said, like, mom and dad, you know, they didn't know what to do, you know, whatever. It would, it, it would like, imply that it's the, the same mom and dad that Kel and Hero have, but anyway. But anyway, sorry for the long story. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. It's not his fault, but I still think Hero blames himself for Marie's death. Hero's never visited here. Not even once. I know it really hurts, but maybe it might be good for him. I don't know. Uh, can I use a flower or something? I imagine you would put a flower here, right? That's, that's, that's the appropriate thing to do or something? <laughs> I do have some flowers. Oh, I thought I did. Maybe not anymore? It's under toys, I guess. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, well. Anyway, I guess that's Marie's grave. Apparently Marie's dead. Who would have guessed? I mean, it makes sense. Again, it makes sense. Because why would, like, again, it, it kind of explains some of why uh, Sonny was so, like, withdrawn, I guess. You know? It seems like he has, like, he's very expressionless you know, and then everything. I imagine it's because uh, of Marie's death, right? Something to do with that. And something maybe more than that? I don't know. There's a lot of, like, uh, symbolism, I guess. Because in his headspace, you know, every, everyone is happy, but he himself doesn't smile, you know? Most of the time. Unless he has the stas effect of being happy, I guess. I don't know. Alright. Peaceful music. Uh, where do we go now? Um... Where did Aubrey go? I mean, she took her bike, I guess, so we don't really know where she went this, at this point. Hmm. It's getting late as well, I guess, in the in the world. In the game.
Yes, I guess that's where she lives. It's a pretty dilapidated house. Did you see that? Arby just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. Also, there was a loud noise in the background. I don't know if you heard that, but... Anyway. Hello, Aubrey. You want to talk about what happened today? No? Okay. I guess uh, her father left? What was it mentioned? That her father left or something? And her mother's still around, but... They live in this, like, really... Like, poor house. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, it looks to be the same house as everybody else. It's just not very taken care of, you know? You gotta do some maintenance, maybe? I guess not. I don't know. No, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. I don't know why she did that. Maybe she knew that we were watching, or maybe not, I don't know. She said she would keep it safe, but I don't know if be keeping it safe means, like, throwing it in the trash. Uh, uh, but on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. It only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? You want a high five? You know, on one hand, I kind of feel upset how we deal with Aubrey's situation, so I feel kind of sad. And Aubrey's kind of looking at us, <laughs> at us right now, I feel like. I don't know. But, okay, fine. Let's give this back to Baza before it gets dark. Uh, he'll be ha so happy when he sees it. Also, the achievement. You can't see it, but the achievement window is blocking the dialogue, so I couldn't read that part of the line, but anyway. Uh, can I look at the thing? Real quick? Alright. Ooh, okay. Because it's different from the photo album we saw in, uh, in the headspace, you know? Aubrey will remember this, that we high-fived in front of her house. Hmm, that's a Mori. He's playing violin. Interesting. So, I was wondering, you know, in, in the... I remember when we made him play piano, I guess, in his... In the, in the dream world. He didn't do very well, but I guess he's not a pianist, he's a violinist. My first photo. It's my best friend, Sonny, trying out his new violin. He started to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister, Marie. So exciting. Wow, amazing. Okay. Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. Oop, now that, mm-hmm. Sorry, Cal. Better luck next time. Wait, are oh, they playing something, maybe? That's Hero, I assume. Oh, okay, they're, they're, they're arm wrestling. <laughs> We're back from the park, but Cal is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's gonna win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Okay, yeah, it was like... That and then this. He won. Cal was still feeling a little sorrow, sour about losing the Hero in an arm wrestling Last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Cal looks annoyed. Ah, uh, brotherly love. Brotherly love, eh? Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Marie stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Yeah. Notice how Sunny, you know, slash Amori. Definitely more, uh, more expression on his face. Usually, you know, again, all the other photos we saw before this... He's always never w really wearing an expression, right? But, uh, you know, in these ones, he looks happy. He's still not as, you know, I guess he's not that express all, you know? Of, uh, like he doesn't, he, you know, doesn't have like a giant smile on his face necessarily, but it looks like he, he's not like just have a neutral expression the entire time. Uh, it's all of us cuddling with Sonny's uh, stuffed animals. So Sonny has a bunch of stuffed animals? Yeah, so many. They're all so soft. I guess he likes to collect them. I wish I could just lay here forever. Hmm, interesting. Some of these animals might appear- Actually, no, I noticed the one he's holding right there. That's the one we see uh, in his dream world, actually. So I guess all of them are representations of his little stuffed animals. There's a lot of stuffed animals. Well, these ones are empty. That's interesting. I can't read them. 
for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know. Marie is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sunny and Kel holding Marie's example. Looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Marie thought so too. Hmm, this one's empty as well for some reason. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. Hmm. I wonder, uh, somebody stole... Okay, I know what happened. Uh, Aubrey took some of the photos for herself and left the other ones and put them in the trash. Uh, notice that... Notice how it, it, it like features like Basil, Sunny, and like uh, Hero, and Kel, and even herself. She doesn't care. She put that in the trash. Anything that features, I'd imagine, the missing person that we don't see here in these photos, she kept. So, you can guess which photos she took. It's raining super hard today. Rain always seems to come out of, uh, out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's a fairy color. Pink. Uh, pink. I mean, that's why she has pink hair, huh? <laughs> That's why she has pink hair now. She likes pink. Uh, Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Okay. Just Kel being Kel. Again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel's getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to park today. Here's Kel hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fierce as him. More missing photos. And then... Watermelon. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all want to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. To eat the watermelon. Kel cooling out with some refreshing orange joe. I should get too close, so he might get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. Bring his orange joe. You buried something in the sand. <laughs> okay. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's gonna need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company till then. A lot of sand in your butt. If you do that. Not pages, by the way. Uh, let's see. Yay, Sunny is turning 12 today. Okay, we get we can get an idea how old they are. I imagine right now they're teenagers, I think. Even though me, Sunny, and Aubrey are yeah, me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school year, Sunny is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Hmm. Interesting. Again, he's so like not depressed <laughs> in these photos. It's weird. Sunny is holding a super huge present from from Marine Hero. I wonder what it is. I don't know. What is it? You can't really tell from the photo, but Marine Hero got Sunny a giant building block set. Sunny seems more interested in the box, though. He yeah, acts just like Marie's new kid, Mewo. Mewo? Mewo? Hmm. He likes being the box. Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Sunny and Mewo's new home. It will be... They will be on the streets, living in the box forever. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. And oh, and Sunny's there too. Oh, uh, yeah, we can see him barely in the background. He looks kind of sleepy. Okay, again, more missing photos. I wonder if we'll see these missing photos eventually. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. You know, I wonder, are these the photo? I don't know, I'm trying to remember. The photo album we had in the in the, in the the Dream World, was, were they similar? I don't remember if they were. They look different, though. Definitely look different. They were wearing different clothes and everything. I don't know if some of the photos were, like, similar. I mean, I remember the ones where they make flower, cl uh, flower crowns, right? I don't know. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, and Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Yeah. Uh, goodbye, Summer. Until next year. And then they are. And then I think that's it, yeah. I'm pressing W. Nothing's happening. And then the last photo is a picture of Marie getting murdered or something. I don't know. Well, we don't really know how she died. I assume an accident? Maybe? I don't know. 
I guess that's it. That's all the photos that we see so far. And now time to give it to Basil. There's a cat there, by the way. Orange cat looks hungry. Hmm. You want some fish? Hold on. Hold on. Let me for it. Before I give the photo album, let me just go grab some fish. From the store, assuming it's still open. I don't know if it's still open. Hello? Is it- are you open? Yeah. Oh. Is it new? Uh, food's not really my thing, but a job is a job. I do like chicken nuggets, though. Mm, different people. I love green onions. They're delicious and nutritious. I don't know if there's any other side quests I can do around here, but uh, I'd like some fish, please. Fish? Yes, fish. Yeah. I just want to get some fish to get to feed the cat. <laughs> Even though I don't know if it'll do anything. It'll probably just give me some trash again, but... I must do it. And you know what? Uh... I have 30 bucks. No, no, there's no, there's no people, actually. Hmm, hmm. Hmm, confound it. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Hey, you. You're young, right? Could a young guy like you help an old guy like me? It's my son's Jesse's 10th birthday tomorrow, and I'm hoping to get him something he'll actually like. Could you go around and start picking something out for me? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what he would like, actually. That's all along. Uh, well, you know, all the way in. Yeah, I've thought that a lot before. Hmm, I don't know what he would like. Anyway, I just want to go here. Try the gacha one more time. Come on, SSR. I don't know if we can get more than a three star. I got a ball. I got a bouncy ball. Good. Amazing. Good. Uh. Gotcha. Hmm. I don't know. What, he, what would he like? A comic, maybe? I'm, like, I'm looking at everything. I'm not sure what he would like. Or maybe you can ask Jesse. Did we, did we meet a Jesse? I don't remember. I don't remember if we met a Jesse or not. Maybe some cards. Maybe this thing. A new video game. Yeah, would you like this video game? Do you have a console to play this video game? So, this here is what the kids are into these days. Super Ultra Sprout Mold Eater Range of the Moles the Third. Can't say I understand the appeal, but okay. Here's a cool thing I found while I was sleep, uh, sweeping earlier. You can have it. Got a seashell. Good. Duh. The gate's price tag is ill. My wallet. Uh, well, as long as my son likes this, it'll be worth it. Well, your son would not like it, as it as it turns out. He'll give it a bad rating. Because it's not up to snuff. It has lots of bugs. And it's actually just a remake of the old uh, Super Ultra Sprout Mold Eater. You know? And they're just selling the same game for the third time. A future classic. Hey, thanks for the help, pal. You know, I could use a consultant for things like this. My son doesn't like to talk about his hobbies with me, but I need to keep up with all this new fango stuff somehow. I live in a small house in the street south from here. It's the one with the brown roof. Please come visit sometime. Now again, does your son have a console? He needs a game console for that. No, okay, well, alright, bye. Imagine, like... Buying like a, a game, but you don't actually have the console, so you can't actually play it. Anything else with you? It's a pawn shop too. I buy anything you don't want. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, I don't know if I want to sell anything necessarily, so I guess that's it. So interesting. This is some you know new characters to talk to, depending on the day of time. Uh, I really want to. Do I want to explore everything right now? I wonder if you can come back later. I don't know. You know? Uh, what are you doing here? I think I found the true love of my life today. I hope he notices me. I hope Senpai notices me. <laughs> okay, this guy, this guy with the wig that acts like a chunibyo. Uh-uh. If it isn't Kellen Sonny, you may have witnessed my humiliation earlier today, but now is the time that I, the Maverick, redeem myself once again. Huh? What is this about now, Mikkel? Uh, curse you and your cheeky attitude. Cal, I challenge thee to a race. Really? A race? I don't know. I'm pretty fast. Ha! Huh. That's what you say now, but just wait until you see the results of my training! When I make a pack of the demons and unlock my true potential! I'm being serious, Mikkel. It's only fair to warn you. I am fast. Like, really fast? Yeah, I know. 
To make things a bit more even, you can use your scooter if you want. Don't you patronize me! Come on, Kel! You've been talking the talk, but can you walk the walk? Why don't you show me a real challenge? Uh, I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? Sorry, Sonny. This will be really quick. Okay. Ready! Set! Go! Okay. <laughs> Oh, 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 wait, I, I want a rematch. I don't think so, Mikel. Don't you, don't you know in order to sprint, you need to press the shift button or your keyboard? I, I don't think you know that. I mean, it's getting kind of late, isn't it? Did a Naruto run? That, that's what you'd imagine, right? He was Naruto running. You thought he would go faster. Oh. <laughs> His wig fell off again. Uh... Please, I must defend my honor. Maybe another time. Me and Sonny are gonna go now. See you later, Mikel. All right. Even watching that made me thirsty, so I'm gonna drink some water. <sighs> All right. Are you still in love with him, by the way? I think I found true love. Okay. Ironic. You know, he tries... Tries to impress the ladies by acting like like what he thinks is cool, but actually... I don't know. I mean, I, it worked actually, technically, but anyway. You haven't seen the last of the Maverick! Uh, oh, let's save the game, actually. Save! Game! Saving game. Yeah. Yeah, same dialogue. Meow. Mm, anything new? Uh, who are you? The filth of the planet. <laughs> what? It makes me sick. I wish I could just wipe it all away. Uh, 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 okay. Whatever you say. What a strange thing to say to a, a random person. Can I give you some, some trash? Yes. Hello, here's some trash. Get two bucks. Wipe it all away. He's so edgy. He's a real chun you know, This guy acts like a chun you but the, he, this this one's the real chun you What's going on over here? Hey, uh, so how have you been How have you been doing lately? I'm doing good. I went to the park by myself, helps me relax and gather my thoughts. Though I'm so glad that I bumped into you. Oh yeah, that's really cool. I'm uh, glad I bumped into you too. All right, this is a reference to, you know, the Omo Cats, the uh, the original Omo Cats. Like, uh, yeah, it really is a reference to the one of the older comics that they made. Oh, here's oh yeah, not get the trash. I don't know why well, I don't know why I couldn't get the trash before. Now I can. He's been for your nickels. Mm, no, goodbye. Pretty boy and jock. Also, more trash? Give me a dollar. Give me a dollar. Okay. Ah, uh, I guess that's it. Nothing else to look around here. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Man, I'm, I'm curious. I don't want to miss anything, so... <laughs> Got that. Well... Okay, let me just double check the stores. We didn't meet a different people. Any of you in the pizza place? My name is Gino. Okay, same thing. Stole the guy's trash and sold it. Well, he wasn't gonna do anything with it. If he was smart, he would have done it himself. But obviously, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't do so. Uh, my family and I are supposed to start eating healthy this week, but the smell of Gino's pizza is so tempting. Uh, maybe something greasy is okay once in a while. Okay, yeah, this is the same person that was, you know, angry that her husband. I mean, not angry, but like, you know, she, she wanted everyone to eat healthy, but never mind. Pizza time. Pizza is too tempting. The pizza demons whisper into your ears and you can't help but eat pizza forever. Uh, no one here. I assume no one here as well. No one here. Okay, no one new here. Except this couple again, but we already talked to them. 
Alright, come visit. We're thinking of House One Part Two days from now. Let's see, so I'll go inside here. Anyone new in here? Oh, you're you're the artist. Hey stranger, what you drawing this time? Hi, um, Kel. And Sunny, was it? Sorry, I'm not so good with names. I'm just trying to draw some fruit. But I'm not so good at it. Yes, you are. I don't like fruit very much, but I eat those for sure. <laughs> I'll eat the paper. You would too, wouldn't you, Sonny? No? Of course you would. Stop joking around, Sonny. I don't know. I don't want to eat paper. <laughs> hey, would you guys really? Thank you. You're very welcome, Mincy. You go. You got this. I refuse, though. Unlike a practical sense. Like, I get you're supposed to call you're complimenting her or whatever. I think. But, like, I don't want to eat the paper, okay? It's, it's, I'm, I'm a very literal person. If anything, if you, if you draw something so delicious looking that someone will eat the actual paper, then that's messed up, actually. You have demonic skills in that case. Your art skills are too powerful, and you should be stopped. Um, chocolate is the girl's best friend. Although, diamonds are also pretty high up there. Okay. Uh, I can't you smile. No, okay, we saw this already. It's smiley, smiley. You must say smiley, smiley, or die. All right, I guess that's it. Nothing else except buying fish and meat, which doesn't do anything for me. So I will go out. All right, just so we'll double check. Anything that I missed. I imagine there's a lot of things to explore in this. I still probably already missed some things. I don't know. But it is cool that you can, like, visit, you know, different places. And when things change, you know, there's new dialogue, NPCs and all that. Mm, that's Basil's house. Uh, is this the one the video game? Oh, yeah. This also looks like a dilapidated house, similar to Aubrey's house. So you got the, the, the game, right? Hey, you're the kids from earlier. My son's upstairs in the room, but he doesn't like strangers much. Again, do you have the console? It doesn't look like you can afford the console, I feel like. Some odd jobs. Turn on TV. I guess uh, he doesn't want to open the door. I just want to talk about him. I just want to talk to Jesse about his... New video game that he can actually play. <laughs> Jesse, hello. I know you're in there, Jesse. Open up, Jesse. Not now, Dad. I'm busy. Okay, I don't know what Jesse's doing in there. Maybe he is playing. You know, maybe he, maybe they, they, they did have a console. Maybe he's just busy playing his video game. I don't know. Alright, well, I'm leaving. And I guess that's good. Alright, I think I'll explore as much as I can. Oh, this is like, I have this like canvases here. I assume, is this, uh, um, Mincy's place, maybe? The artist? I don't know. Anyway, I, I gotta get this fish, by the way. Fish. I did it. I gave fish to cat. I win the game. I got the cat ending, the good ending. Uh, I got trash. No, okay. It's <laughs> just trash. Alright, I'll just keep it in my pockets for now. Good. Alright, I guess, I mean, I guess that's it. Here you go. Here's the photo album. Knock, knock. Basil. Your friends, Kel and Sunny. Oh. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, oh, wait. You're not Basil. Oh, I'm sorry. My name's Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Kel. What is it? Hi, Basil. You got your photo album back. Huh? You did? Wow. Thank you. We gave Basil back his photo album. He's gonna notice that some of, them, some of the photos are missing, though. Basil, you didn't tell me you have friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little bit too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Sonny. Free dinner. Free food. Ah, uh, yes. Something... More than just, you know, steak that's, like, overcooked. 
please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been here. We definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Ah, uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you guys sure, or rather, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. That's literally your defining character traits. <sighs> oh, that reminds me. Now that we got your photo album back, we can all, we can all, we can all go through the photos together. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know. Actually, I already did that, by the way. <laughs> I already looked at them anyway. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um. Sure. Okay. Uh-oh. Here it is. Yeah, we did this already. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Missing some, miss, again, missing some photos. Again, I mean, most of the photos are also missing Basil, except maybe one or two. I don't know, but it makes sense because usually Basil's make the ones, you know, taking the photos, right? So, makes total sense, again. But, uh, yeah, some of the photos are missing, and I assume it's the ones that are, are Marie. The ones with Marie in them. Now, I don't know if, if Aubrey's the one. I mean, my, my theory is that Aubrey's the one that stole them. But it could also be Basil that, like, is keeping them safe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I wish I could read these, but... There is writing, but you can't, we can't read them. When I press shift, it doesn't work. I guess that's it. Yep, I am done. I already looked at them, technically. <laughs> I, I looked at them myself, so... <laughs> I guess I, sh I could I could have waited until here. You know, until now to look at it, but anyway. Oh, man. Looks like a lot of photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. I'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look look how short I was. <laughs> I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. Can't wait until it comes back. This year, I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> anyway, don't sweat about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sunny will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Okay. Thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Would you, any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I've got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please, follow me. The kitchen is this way. It's over here. Literally, like, you know, two steps. Look around. Hmm. Hmm. Flowers. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. What are you looking at, Basil? My former best friend? Hmm? Hmm? No? Okay. Cactus. The most tsundere plants. Okay, well, we already looked at it, so... Can I talk to you? Oh. Hi. Sunny. Awkward. Alright, I don't know why we're being so awkward. I I'm not sure. Something happened, I guess. I mean, it seems like Basil and Sunny are very best friends. They even hold each other's hands sometimes. They're very close. But not right now, I guess. And I don't know why. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's save the game. Oh, no. Yeah, all right. Still level one, by the way. Can't We can't level up in real life. You know, it's not, that's not how it works, I guess. What's inside? Cabbages, carrots, mushrooms, and tofu. Hmm. Is he, uh, the vegetarian? The night for dinner, we'll be making chicken vegetable soup. Well, there's chicken, though. So maybe not. Because I, I only saw, like, you know, vegetarian options in the fridge. How's that sound? Soup and veggies? Sounds nutritious and delicious. You really think so? I was afraid you'd be a, a bit disappointed. People always tell me that my taste is a bit bland. I don't worry about what other people think. All oh, food is good to me. I'll eat anything you throw at me. Dinner will be ready soon. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Oh, oops. Ah! Oh no, repeat dialogue. I need to skip. Skip dialogue. I did the thing where, like, I thought Kel would say something different, but they both say, like, they, they both activate the same dialogue and it repeats itself fully. And I have to, like, go through all of it. 
It's nice to finally see you again. Ha ha, ha ha, awkward. Ha ha, ya ha ha. Why are you staring at me like that? I don't know. It's just what I do. This is what I do. L look at him. Look at Sunny. Look, he just has a very blank <laughs> facial expression the entire time. He just always stares at people like this. Also, oops, I bumped, I bumped my microphone again. Um, Sunny, is is everything okay? Basil of the hide the pain herald look. Hmm. I'm not sure what you're referring to exactly, but he does look like he he does look distressed. Um, Sunny, is is everything okay? Oh, now what? Oh, now he? Oh, oh, no. I was wondering if he was looking at me, but now, well, hey, you know he still is. Alright, no, he's just saying the same thing. Alright, well. Let's go over here now. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, there's a uh, mother, I guess, or his mother, I assume. Uh, or rather, grandma, or rather. Basil's grandma is breathing steadily. Oh, here's the same plant we saw before near Marie's grave. A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers symbolizes the phrase my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Oh, Sonny. I didn't expect you to see you in here. <laughs> How are you doing, Sonny? Is everything okay with you? Okay, never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. I feel like I accidentally progressed. I actually want to explore his room too, but... Oh well. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around. Even if it's only for a, a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it. Uh, I'm trusting you with it. Okay. I just think you can probably use it more than me. I got his photo album. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think at the time I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Well, you, uh, no, because you literally can't reverse time. You know, we can't literally go back to being children. That's literally physically impossible. No, uh, but maybe in your dreams. Sunny, Basil, dinner's ready. Okay, come in. Legacy books, bunch of books, a wheelchair. Hmm. Bonsai tree. Can I look in here? This is a bathroom. Uh, let me wash my hands. You know, I gotta wash my hands before I eat dinner. Oh. <laughs> it's like kind of pseudo jump scared because I, I like accidentally pressed the button twice. But no, it's just us. We're just looking at a mirror. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Strange equipment attached to it? I wonder what that means. Is it, well, I mean, it's like a handlebar, right? It's just to hold on. It's probably for grandma. Got plants. I assume this is his room. Anything hidden in his room? Any dark secrets? As like a car outside my window is going vroom vroom. Very loud. As was camera. Looks really dusty. I guess he hasn't been taking photos at this point. Alright, I guess that's it. Actually, can I look at the photos? The photos are in As on his parents. He never met them before. Hmm, weird. Yeah, I mean, he has a caretaker right now. I don't know what happened to his parents. Did they die? I don't know. Or maybe they're just not here. You know? I have no idea.
He just has a caretaker for some reason. I'm not sure why. What does that mean, you know? What does that imply? What does that imply? I don't know. Wash hands. Come on, wash your hands first. I guess we're using utensils, but I don't know. You know, you gotta wash your hands. You know, you've been walking around all day, touching stuff with your hands. Polly and Kel's homemade dinner. Like to eat some? Sure. Nom 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 nom. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Kel. Nom 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 nom. So as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow, num num, my older brother, Heroes, finally come back from college. My mom's all crazy right now, preparing the housing and everything. I don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, num num num, I'm pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. This year's the year, num num, that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can... Freely in my bones. My very, very tall bones. <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. Family's important. Oh, hey. Um, what you doing with Basil's photo album there, Sonny? What are you doing there, Sonny? No, um, oh, I, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Oh, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Sonny's moving away and all. What? Sonny's moving? I thought you knew, Basil. That's why you said, like, you know, you'll only be here for a little while, but I guess he didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I thought I already mentioned it. Yum, yum. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh. Uh... No, I, I guess I must have missed it. S sorry Um, may I be excused? I have to go to the bathroom. No? Suspicious. Okay. What's up with him? I don't get it. It's like, it's not like you're like your best friend with your best friends of the world, like moving away or something. Like, you never got a chance to reconnect before he already leaves or something. I don't know. Num, num, num. Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go <laughs> pee, I guess. I don't know. Basil's been going to the bathroom a lot lately. I hope it's not my food. What's up with him? What a weirdo. Anyway, num, 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 num. What are we just making, like, Soup, I guess. I guess, well, I guess a soup and a salad, maybe. I see, like, two things there. <laughs> uh, it's such a small table. It just looks like he's just eating straight out of the bowl. He's just eating all of our food. We didn't get a chance to eat at all. He, he, it's all it just all belongs to him. Anyway. Save game. As we go into the bathroom and we gently open the door to see... Everything is going to be okay. 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 Oh no. Oh, it's you. Sunny, you're here. I'm so glad. You, you can see it too, can you? Something behind you. Hmm, I guess it's bleeding into the real world. I guess, of course. The, the shadows, the shadow creatures. Sunny. Why? Why do you look so scared? How do I turn on the lights? Is there a light? Is there a light button? Is there a hello, light switch? What's well, light switch, please? Hello, light switch. Everything's gonna be okay now, isn't it? Sunny. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, shadow creatures. They're just typical shadow creatures. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And Sunny just looks the same as always, like, Oh yes, this is fine. This is totally fine. Hello? Hello? Alright, fine, I'm gonna leave. Hi. Oh wait! Please, Sunny. Don't leave me. Not again. Bye. See ya. See ya later, sucker.
Smell later, nerd. No. No. Sunny says no. Kotowaru. Okay, fine. I mean, I don't know, but this is a weird relationship. Oh, hey, Sonny. I think it's about time we went home. Way past my curfew. So, yeah. Anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Kel. You're sweet. It's, oh, it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. Hey, uh, Kel, there's something weird going on in the bathroom with Basil. Basil! Oh, Basil! Ah, oh, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. Okay. That's, that's all it is, you know? He's just had a bit of a stomach ache. Don't worry about it. Nothing weird about turning off all the lights in the bathroom and then... Talking to yourself like a crazy person. Talking about, like, shadow creatures and, like, you know... Crying because Sonny's leaving you for some reason. I don't know. Don't worry about it. I mean, it seems like a bad idea. Without any context, it just seems like a bad idea to leave him there by himself. It seems kind of rude, you know? He, he asks you to stay. I don't know where you leave him. Don't you want to... Defeat the shadow creatures real quick? It seems like it's bothering him, you know? We should probably call, we should probably call the Ghostbusters. Gotta bust some ghosts. No, guess not. It's very dark. Any new people after dark? I wonder. Anyone in the park? Oh, a cat. Lots of cats. And talk to these cats? No. Just, just a lot of cats. Good. Meow. And it's just the same old, same old hobos. Good. At least Moonlight is free. Ah, oh, yes. Also, can I steal some of this fruit? Come on. Did they just leave the fruit here? Doesn't it rot? You would just leave the fruit here? I don't know. A vending machine with cats on it. More cats. A lot of cats. Seems. Oh, what's this? A water fountain. You can see coins at the bottom. It's sparkling, though. I don't know why it's sparkling. Maybe it's just, that's how it is. This is hours. Uh, 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. Must be 21 years old or older to enter after 10 p.m. Oh, there's having some kind of party in there, it seems. Is there, like, a rave in there? It's, 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 it's. Okay, what are you doing here? What you looking at, mister? I'm playing a game with my best friend. Okay, they're playing, I, I assume, uh, Warhammer. They're playing Warhammer is what they're doing. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, checkerboard. I guess it replaced the, the game console. Okay, and this is closed, obviously. Meow. And this is closed, I assume. Yeah. And look at the sign. Yeah, close. Anywhere else I can go? No, I guess not. Um, I imagine... I don't know. I, I think that's it. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else we can go. After dark. I don't think there is, so we, we can just go home now. Take a cat home? I mean, that seems like a bad idea. I mean, we're moving, you know, for one. But also, I don't think, we, you know, we, sh we shouldn't just take stray cats by ourselves, you know? They probably have a lot of diseases. <laughs> Gotta take them to uh, a veterinarian or something. I don't know. Actually, I don't know how it works. What's the legality of, like, picking up a stray cat or a stray pet in general? You have to train them, you know, as well. Not as easy... As training like a like a like a pet you get from the pet store, you know, you, you just pick it off the street, you know, it's gonna it's a lot harder because they lived off the street, you know, for a long time. Anyway, hey, Sonny, thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, 
Hiro's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. Okay, bye. We still haven't done our chores, by the way. We should be doing our chores in the house. Mom gave us a to-do list. We haven't done it. Anyway, back into the darkness. Darkness. Um, see, I told you we should be doing our chores. That's why it got so dirty in here. This is what happens when you don't do your chores, Sonny. Come on. Cockroaches start, you know, bleeding through the walls. And like shadow monsters start haunting you. You gotta keep it, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta grab a vacuum. Uh, whispers emanate from inside the box. Oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. spider webs. Well, the reason why you have spiders in the first place is because you haven't kept the place clean. That's why they're here, to eat the other uh, bugs. Can't go in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course. Yes, this is normal. This is fine. Do, 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 do. Hello, big spider. Ah, yes, my knife. Give me back my knife. Give me back my knife. I want my knife. No steak tonight? Well, I guess we already ate. This is just Australia, yes. It's a normal day back home, you know? Slash. Uh, it seems I can't go to the right. What's over there? I mean, that door is glowing, you know, but I can't reach it now. What was that door before? I don't remember. Uh, I guess you have to go back up. Man, these stairs are long. Just like just like last time. And, you know, dark, we should really have had these stairs replaced because I don't really like these interdimensional doors that keep getting longer randomly. You know, it's, it's, it's such a chore to climb up these stairs every single time. Ow. And also these giant spires as well. It's not so great. Ow. Look at my health, by the way. Am I getting hit? No, it's the same. I'm not taking damage. Yeah. See, these stairs are so exhausting. Who the heck installed these stairs? They're way too long. Now. Oh, finally. Can you, can, you, can you get out of my way, sir? You're blocking the stairs. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Use a backwards long jump, I guess. What does Mario say? Yahoo! 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 Yeah! 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 Yahoo! Yahoo! You know, like when you when you do that. Um. All right. Well, find time to fight this monster again. It's more spidery this time. Eh, my uh, we're stuck in sticky sticky webs. Eh, slash. It does nothing, and of course it does nothing. Oh. Just calm down. Deep breaths. This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sonny? Calming down is, is a free action. <laughs> Costs nothing, I guess. Oh, it does take an action, I guess, but you know. Oh, 
ครับโอ้แวบีมีครับนี่ It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and you remember how to focus. Ah, huh. the power of focusing. Uh, Sony's next attack will deal more damage. Okay, more breathing. It's just breathing exercises. <laughs> you know, that's his power. Breathing. It's like that anime that I, did, I didn't watch. What's it called? Demon Slayer or something? <laughs> like the main character like had the power of breathing properly. Somehow that gives him superpowers. Uh, oh, hey, we're stepping on a spider, I think. Or a spider. That actually happened to me one time. You know, I was like walking around in the dark uh, upstairs. And I think I did step on the spider. You know, I I was I stepped on something like I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like just water or something. I, I stepped on something. Like, like, it just felt like like water or something. But then I turned on the lights and I looked, and it's actually it was a dead spider. Like, whoops! I squished the spider, which I don't like. I mean, for one, it's disgusting. <laughs> but but also, uh, I don't want to kill spiders. But usually, spiders are helpful actually because they kill all the other bugs. You know, you want a spider to to live. Usually, unless you have too much spiders, I guess you don't want like too much spiders. Then it becomes like a, you know, then then you, you get infested by spiders. But usually, spiders are the ones that prevent, you know, in infestations. You know, because they're the ones actually eating the, all the other bugs. Uh, then again, it is an indication that maybe you know. If you have a spider in the first place, it's already pretty bad. You know, oh, it's a little jump scare. Don't worry about it. Uh, this is uh, how cute. You know, this game trying to jump scare. I don't know if it's just me, but it just it doesn't really affect me that much at this point. I don't know. I just kind of oh, there's nothing here, by the way. There was supposed to be a door, isn't there? Nothing here. Weird. Oh, not going down there, I guess. I wonder which was Marie's room. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe this was Marie's room, or maybe there was Marie's room over here, but they like covered it up or something. I don't know. I imagine that's what it is. Ah, do your chores, Sonny. Come on, I make you feel better. Steak, your favorite. <laughs> I mean, should I eat some steak? Actually, let, let me just grab a snack real quick. Otherwise, I'm gonna get hungry in the middle of the night again. You know? No steak. Oh. Weird. Anyway, steak. Oh man, no steak. We're, we're gonna starve, deaf mom. You left like one piece of steak. Did you did you expect me to eat steak for three days? You know that one piece of steak. Literally gonna starve to death because we don't have enough food. <laughs> you know. We don't have enough food. Ah, I'm gonna feed myself, mother. I'm going to starve in this house. Today I didn't starve because I got a free dinner at someone else, someone else's place. But what about the next day? You know. I guess you gave us thirty bucks. Is that enough to like pay for three meals? Oh well. I mean, you're supposed to have three meals a day, you know. So it's more like nine meals, or something. I don't know. Anyway, right, I think we're good. I mean, yeah. I guess uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. Let's go back into dreamland and not worry about anything anymore. Oh yes, Sumi, is what the achievement says.
Welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Welcome back, more like it. We're just going back to White Space. Back here. Good old... Good old white space. Home sweet home. You know? Any other sketches, by the way? I keep checking this. There's just never any new sketches. Or maybe there is. Uh, maybe not. I can't, I can't tell. It's just that thing again. Is that... Yeah, the, the, on the left is like... There's Kel... There's Hero and there's Aubrey, you know? And they're, be they're swimming in like a weird ocean of a snake. Alright, and this, this thing again. Alright, mm-hmm. I, I assume we can just leave now? Yeah, we can just leave. I think? Oh, let's see. Open the door. Let's go back. Back to our safe space. <laughs> in our mind. Our mine palace, I guess. Is that what you call it? Sounds very fancy. Mine palace. It really, it's just, your, it's just your imagination. You know, it's just in your head. Amori, welcome back. I'm not an edgy bitch anymore. Haha. <laughs> See, hero? I told you not to worry. Amori always shows up when we need him. Is everything okay, Amori? We're worried about you. Now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Kel. We have to make sure that Mori's okay first. Or maybe you and Hero can go yourselves. Come on, Mori. Let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Hey, you can't leave us out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger than when we work together. Amori and I will be fine on our own. You'll protect me, won't you, Amori? You gross, get a room. Also, this is inside Amori's head, so I, I imagine maybe he, had, he, maybe he did have a crush on Aubrey. I don't know. But come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Amori that Amori's okay. You know how she's always worried about him. Okay, okay, fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, we're back. We're back in the in the cool place, the place where no one's dead, and everything's fine, right? We got Amori. Here's your allowance. Got seven hundred fifty clams. Oh yeah. Drowning in that moolah. So much clams. There's Marie. She's not dead. <laughs> Hi, Marie. Look, Amori's here. Amori. Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. Hmm. So there's no, still no sign of Basil? Where could he be? Well, we're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere and still nothing. Uh, I hope Basil's okay. I miss him so much. Yeah, I miss I miss hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into. Like all the flower stuff. And the photo stuff. And the art stuff. And the reading stuff. <laughs> so much stuff. My hair is so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Mori, will you brush it for me? Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty. Ew, Cal. Hell, you should probably wash your hands anyway. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil is upset, he always manages to smile. So, is there anywhere you haven't checked yet? Well, there is a forest west of the stump, but it's gross and full of spiders. Not just like a weird waking nightmare spider, you know, uh scene, I guess. Ugh, spiders. Well, you know what that means. Once again, it's time to face your fears, little brother. 
And that means you too, hero. Come on, big bro. You can't back out now. It's just how it is with Omori. We're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash out of the way with my bat. I mean, my totally not bat. You can count on it. And don't forget about me. I'll always be there to help too. Yeah. Yeah. We can do this together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Mori. You're the leader. Alright. So we're back to the dreamland. It is interesting how they're just splitting the story like that. It's kind of, I don't know. It's actually a lot of things to unpack, you know? I feel like, I'm trying to think, another game that's kind of like, I mean, there's a few games like this. Um, there's Enro, you know, there's Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. Um, those type of games that kind of take place, well, it, it very similar themes anyway. But uh, they, those type of games never have done like, a, like, two, like two stories in one, I guess. I mean, they are connected, I guess, but... You know, it's interesting that we're exploring the dreaming world, but also the waking world at the same time. And it seems like the waking world is also quite, uh, uh quite, um, uh, what's the word? I, I forgot the word. I was going to say a word, but I forgot what the word was. You know, it's, it's as, uh, impactful, you know, it's as long, I guess. I mean, I don't know if it's as long, but I mean, there's less RPG battles, I guess. I mean, there is fighting though. Anyway, there's a lot going on, basically. And you have to like keep in mind, you know, the two stories happening at the same time, and you know, and and, and like how they're all all like connected to each other, you know. It's interesting. Anyway, save the game. But uh, let's not worry about the the waking world right now. Let's just go back to our like nice little simple quest, you know, to look for uh, this world's Basil, and we'll see what happens next. <laughs>